Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. I thank you and I'm honored that you have cho chosen to join me today. As always, or almost always, I'm sitting on the front porch so you may hear wind chimes or cars going by or neighbors walking by and talking, but that is our everyday lives. Always lots going on. <clears throat> so today we'll start on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer. And you can use your prayer book along with me, or you can find it online, BCP online, or you can simply listen and pray along. Page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. And now we'll move on to the psalm appointed for today, which is Psalm 72. There it is. And it's on page 685 of your Book of Common Prayer. That's Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the flir righteous flourish, and there shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor, and he shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall, be, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruits flourish like Lebanon and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now we'll go to the lesson today from Matthew. We're going to read Matthew 13. 44 through 52. 
That's Matthew 13, 44. So let me get it up here. All right. And we start with the parable of the hidden treasure. There are several parables in a row here. And <clears throat> Jesus was always using parables, telling stories to help people understand the kingdom. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore. And they sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but threw the bad away. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth, separate the wicked from the just, and cast them into the furnace. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to them, Have you understood these things? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he said to them, Therefore, every scribe instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out his treasure, things new and old. Things new and old. May we have the wisdom to understand what God is saying to us through the scriptures today. I think everybody can really grab a hold of the pearl of great price. And we know that is life in Christ. As a believer. Let's move on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we'll go to page 96. And we'll say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now I'll collect for peace on page 99. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we'll move on to a prayer for mission at the bottom of page 100. 
O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we'll take a moment to um, pray prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. Let us pray. Amen. And now together we'll pray the general thanksgiving found on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now on the top of page 102, a prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ever ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. So today we are celebrating uh, our All, All Souls service. We're going to be remembering those who have departed, uh, especially those in the last year, but really everyone who is dear to us. And um, I'll just say that my grandmother was one saint and soul that had a huge influence on my life and whom I remember all the time, but especially tonight at the Requiem service that the choir has prepared for us. I'll be remembering her and others who have passed, especially some of the people in our midst, in our fellowship that have passed. And I just invite you, if you're able to join us, to come to the church. It's at 7 p.m. and it's Mozart's Requiem. It's a very solemn occasion and a beautiful way to honor those who are departed from us. And today, I pray that you will go out into the world, that you will make the phone calls, that you will visit the people, that you will do the deeds that God has prepared for you to do, that you might be his hands and feet in this world, and that God's love and care for others would shine through you and your life. Have a great day. Amen.